Hey folks, Pat Deegan here, and today I want to share with you an uh, image that I found. It's actually an organizational chart that probably dates back into the 1960s or 1950s, and it's from a state hospital here in the United States. And uh, as you can see, there is a very complex hierarchy here. Uh, we see complex chain of command uh, in the organizational structure of the state hospital. And way, way down the bottom, at the very bottom, uh, is the, the patient. And uh, you can see that there's quite a gap between many of the professionals working at the hospital and the individual who's being served. And I think that when there is such a profound difference between um, uh, the individual and the staff who are serving them, there can be a real disconnect in terms of uh, help. I believe that when help is separated from the voice and choice of the individual, then help can become toxic help. Okay? True help, help that's really helpful, is co-created between the individual and ourselves uh, and uh, as professionals who are trying to support the recovery of that person. And when to uh, help becomes toxic help, a person can find themselves surrounded by help and yet uh, they're drowning. Uh, the um, cartoonist Scott Chambers uh, did a, incredible work with Mouth Magazine, which is a disability rights magazine here in the United States over the years. And he did a, a, a remarkable series called Drowning in Help. This again is being surrounded by help that's not helpful. In this first cartoon, we see an individual in the water yelling help. And from way up above somewhere, a wheelchair drops, lands on his head, and drowns him. In the second part of the series, Drowning in Help 2, again, we see the person in the water waving their hands, help, help. And once again, there's this mismatch between the help that's offered by the system and what the person really needs. So this time, money is tossed down, and the person drowns, and the money floats on by. And finally, uh, um, again, we see the person yelling, help. And again, a mismatch between what the person needs and what the system is offering. A report on drowning gets tossed down and once again sinks the person. Toxic help, help that comes from way above in, in complex hierarchy that does not match the needs of the individual. True help is co-created when we engage with individuals uh, and help them help themselves help them get to the goals in their lives, but it all starts with that relationship.